it can spike to the point to where it'll just knock you on your knees and put you in bed. Pain, we all feel it, but for millions with chronic pain, it lingers for months, even years. It's like 10 times worse than a toothache. From the YMCA volunteer to the Marine wounded in Iraq and a mother struggling to continue her mission to save abused animals, follow three stories of people in pain. It just eats away at you, it devours you, and eventually it can take your soul. Explore different treatments and weigh the risks and benefits of prescription drugs. The use of painkillers in the United States has become an epidemic. We'll have a panel of experts plus portraits of patients as we discover what happens to the body in pain. Funding for Body in Pain comes from the Dr. Donald J. Goodman and Ruth Weber Goodman Philanthropic Fund of the Cleveland Foundation, the Margaret Clark Morgan Foundation, the McGregor Foundation, the Woodruff Foundation, and the Community Foundation of Lorain County. My name is Lisa Novak, I'm 38 years old. I run a nonprofit animal shelter. No animal is to be left behind. That is our motto. No animal is to be left behind. We deal with a lot of animals that are abused by people, a lot of cruelty that occurs. This year, so far, the rescue organization, the volunteers have saved 263 animals. I know chronic pain. I know the suffering that occurs, and I know the pain that comes with it. I was working at an animal hospital. I was lifting a 120-pound dog, and the dog fell, and I ended up ripping my abdomen and getting multiple hernias. No matter how much I rubbed my side or my leg or tried to apply heat, you couldn't. It was a deep, penetrating pain, almost like being stabbed. Chronic pain, it takes away everything. I think it makes you feel inadequate. It uh, causes depression. And I think your children are impacted more because they don't understand. You know, at one time you were doing something and now you're broken. Uh, I ended up having to sell my home uh, because I wasn't making the income that I was. Uh, I gave up almost everything just to, just to buy, try to survive. My name is Yvonne Wood, I'm 62, and I know the whole nightmare of chronic pain. In 2002, I was diagnosed with serious arthritis in both knees. And at one point, it was so bad that I was in a wheelchair, I was really immobile. It affected my work in the fact that I was an office manager and I wasn't able to move around. I wasn't mobile. Because of the fact that I could not do the job that I was responsible for doing, I retired in 2002 on disability. It's like a throbbing, nagging, gnawing pain, and it's there while you're sleeping. While, I mean, there's no comfort level. You sit up, you have pain. You lay down, you have pain. Have you ever had a toothache where the pain is just throbbing like a pulsating pain. It was just that painful. Chronic pain affects your whole lifestyle. It affects the way you live and it affects the choices that you make as to how you do things on a daily basis. It affects you mentally also. It, it, it's so painful that you just don't even want to be bothered with people. It isolates you. I'm Derek Young, I'm from Warren, Ohio. In Iraq 2005, I was wounded in an explosion and since that time I've had to uh, live with chronic back pain. I enlisted in the Marine Corps after high school in 1998. In 2005, I was part of Operation Iraqi Freedom. I was deployed with 3rd Battalion 25th Marines Weapons Company. The headquarters is over in Brook Park, Ohio. Unfortunately, the public would probably remember us as being the unit with the heavy losses in uh, early August of 2005. Our mission was uh, to uh, patrol the roadways and support any of the uh, foot movements and 
to disrupt any type of insurgent activities within the Al Anbar province of Iraq. On May 7th, 2005, at approximately 3.30 in the morning, we were returning from a patrol. I was the vehicle commander and I sat in the right front seat. Um, there was five of us total in that vehicle. And that's when my vehicle uh, ran over anti-tank landmines. You hear ringing, some things are slow, some things you remember, some things you don't remember. It's, it's kind of hard to exactly to say how I was feeling at that time. It was a, somewhat of a state of confusion. Um, and you just go into react mode and uh, rely on your training. The other guys were wounded a lot worse than me. And so I wanted to make sure that they were the priority. I, you know, had uh, some lacerations, some back injuries, uh, some nerve damage in my legs, concussion. It, just like with any veteran, everybody has different symptoms and different diagnosis with whether it's PTSD, traumatic brain injuries, chronic back pain like myself. There, there's a combination of emotional and physical pain. So chronic pain really derails people, really changes people's lives. Dr. Koteba Taba, you've been treating pain patients for 20 years. You're head of pain management at Metro Health. You've probably seen everything under the sun when it comes to this. Well, Kate, that's absolutely true. I have seen a lot and I treated a lot of patients. What comes to my mind first is the case that I have been, after I did my cardiac surgery and the Cleveland Clinic and I switched to uh, anesthesiology and critical care, uh, there's a case at uh, Southwest Hospital that I got a patient in the ICU who is in a coma after committing suicide and actually the patient expired. Uh, the police brought uh, with him his memoir or his, uh, you know, principally diary about what's happened to him. And when I read his writing, it was because of chronic back problem that he had and he became isolated from his family and his community and he lost his job. Th th this sad story by itself for me as a surgeon, when I considered pain as just principally temporary thing, you give them a couple of Percocet after surgery, a couple of pain medication, all, everything is gone. Never seen that impact on the patient and the society or the family like in this case that I've been seen, uh, experienced probably 20 years ago. So it can be riveting to patients and families. Dr. Jeffrey Janata, you're a psychologist. You've studied pain for 20 years. You've treated uh -huh. lots of patients. Tell us how this kind of chronic pain that we're talking about is really different than the kind of pain you have when you like, cut your finger. Well, we all experience pain. Pain in an acute sense is the body's warning sign that it's been injured. And in that sense, pain can be very helpful. It is helpful. We otherwise wouldn't know that we had hurt ourselves. Chronic pain, by contrast, is that system now gone into a sustained mode. Chronic pain is defined as a, an unpleasant and emotional sensory experience that persists over months and months. Typically, we classify it as being six months or more that now has taken on a life of its own where the body stays in a cycle of experiencing pain, even independent of an originating injury. And there's many different causes of chronic pain, and that's very much the yeah. case in our three profile patients. Mm -hmm. 